Good, welcome back. Um, we're talking about fossils, and uh, later on we're going to be talking about human fossils in particular. But before we go on to that, um, we were just going to mention some living fossils, animals that are around today and are in the fossil record, but there seems to be no change in them at all. Um, here's some maple leaves. Paul. Well, what living fossils show us is the stability of body forms or of uh, fossil types. Um, when you see a living fossil, what you're seeing is evidence of no evolution. These things have stayed basically the same. And here you can see uh, a living maple leaf on the right compared to a fossil maple leaf, instantly recognisable when you see it in the fossil record. Yep. And you see this time and time again. In fact, one German uh, colleague of ours, Dr. Joachim Shevin, for many years had a museum in Germany which was called Lebendiger Vorwelt. I'm not sure my German is very good, but it means living prehistory. Yep. And he had 500, at least 500 living fossils on display where he would have the living form next to the fossil form to reinforce this point that living fossils are, n are not uncommon. Mm. Mm. They're, they're a very common feature of the fossil record. We've got a, qu a few quick examples. Is um, the horseshoe crab mm -hmm. living yeah. and, and fossil. Yeah, and I think the one on the left is from the famous Solnhofen deposits in Germany, uh, yeah. in Bavaria, that um, also Archaeopteryx, the so-called first garage, came from. That's the BMW garage Near the yeah. BMW yep. garage. Okay. <laughs> right. okay. And um, so where would you find the horseshoe crabs where, uh, on the planet now? Yeah. They're found uh, in deep water, but you'd yeah, see the them seabed. If, if they were coming up to spawn in shallow water. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, they're, they're basically almost identical. The Acer mm -hmm. that um, Paul just showed you, scientists have given it the, f the fossil and the living creature the same genus and species name absolutely identical mm -hmm. no change in s yeah. alleged millions of years mm. and with the with that horseshoe crab some of those allegedly are up to 320 million years old yeah. and yet there's been practically no change mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. no change no evolution at least in these creatures yeah. and yeah. Joachim shaven has got these things in big tanks Mm. And his wife, Vipka, used to go round daily cleaning them and f feeding them and so <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got some bats as well. Mm. Bats are, uh, are obviously the two main types of living today. Yeah. And uh, in the fossil record, what do we find? Yeah. Well, what you see on the left there is the oldest known fossil bat from the Green River Formation in Wyoming called Icara nycteris. And it is. Uh, essentially the same as the micro bats today and uh, studies of its skull indicate it even has the same sophisticated sonar technology uh, yeah. that modern micro bats have so mm. micro bats being well, compared to what are the other types of bats? there are Small two bats. types of bats today there are the micro bats and the mega bats the mega bats are essentially um, the flying foxes, the fruit bats, and so on. Um, the micro bats are the ones that are more familiar to us, so the bats that kind of fly around our homes at night. Mm -hmm. And the, the sonar is something that we caught up with beginning with about the First World War, 20th century <laughs> stuff. Um, clever scientists working it all out. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, this little bat probably didn't work it out for himself, but there was a very clever designer who mm -hmm. gave it to him. Mm. Yeah. Were, was, were the bats the inspiration for the sonar uh, experimentation? It's quite likely. There's a mm. whole science which is just copying nature. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And here's an ant um, caught still life in, in amber. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that ant was only known as a fossil, thought to have been extinct for more than 15 million years, until uh, last year there was a report in the journal Science saying that this ant had been found alive and well, the same Gracilidris species in South America. So suddenly uh, the living fossil turned up. And uh, if you find the ant alive and well and uh, it's been missing, missing from the rocks in terms of the evolutionist timescale uh, for 15 million years or more, then clearly um, not only has there been no change and therefore no evolution in these ants, but it causes you to question whether the millions of years attached to the rocks yeah. are in any way trustworthy. Yeah. Yeah, it also never it was extinct. No, it never was extinct. It also yeah. shows you that if you don't find, just because you don't find uh, certain fossils in the rocks, like the famous coelacanth, Latimeria, doesn't mean it's not still existing. Yeah. What you called your coelacanth principle, I remember in your book 
one small speck to man. And, um, you know, the absence of evidence in the rocks is not evidence for absence. Yeah, <laughs> important yeah exactly right. to remember. There's an interesting one from um, Southeast Asia that um, it's a, a rodent, a sort of ferret-sized mm -hmm. rodent called, um, what's the word, Leonastes. Mm -hmm. Leonastes, if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. And it's supposed to have been extinct for... Um, 11, 12 million years, mm -hmm. and then they found one for sale in a meat market in yeah. Laos or something. Laos, yeah. yeah, and they, when they first found it, they thought it was a completely new family of mammals. It was only later that somebody looked at it and said, "Well, I've seen one of those before, but it was in a museum drawer somewhere, and it was a, it was a fossil." So it actually turned out to be a member of a known family, but mm. only known from the fossil record. Mm. And, and yeah. it was for sale to eat, wasn't it? Yes. So just yeah. lightly fried in um, yeah. Irish butter. Irish bog yeah. butter. Yeah. Irish yeah. Bog. And yeah. A living fossil <laughs> kebab. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some fossil um, shells and living shells, and, and they're oh. exactly the same as well. Yeah, those are gastropods, uh, snails, essentially. And there are lots of um, examples of living fossils among the marine um, shell shelled animals. Yeah. yeah, and here's a snake, uh, and the earliest snakes are... Uh, much like the living snakes, mm -hmm. the, the earliest snake fossils we find are not uh, mm -hmm. halfway houses between mm -hmm. lizards, legged lizards and, and, and the snakes. Although there is evidence for some ancient snakes to have had some sort of uh, rear limb structures, mm -hmm. but there's no evidence to show that snakes were at one stage never snakes. Mm -hmm. they, so there's no mm -hmm. evidence for evolution of lizard-like creatures into snakes. And again, here's the earliest uh, this is a, a living Nile crocodile, but the earliest crocodile, uh, uh, whatever million, how, how old would you say, Phil, you remember the earliest fossil uh, Well, crocodile? the earliest fossil crocodiles, uh, I'm reliably, re reliably informed by Paul, are uh, in the order of 200 million years. Um, but I'm not a great ex uh, knowledge on the crocodiles, what except for uh, Sarcosuchus imperator, which uh, caught my imagination and, and many others too. When Paul Serino and colleagues discovered that, I believe, in the Sahara, and it was an enormous creature, absolutely mm -hmm. enormous. It would have had a skull uh, which was as long as I am tall, practically. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they, they, it's basically a mega crocodile. Mm -hmm. And these would have, uh, if you've seen those programs where the uh, wildebeest are crossing the Serengeti, uh, uh, crossing the, the Masai Mara River, and then leaping out at them are these crocodiles. Imagine a crocodile, you know, many, many times larger than one of those crocodiles. Super croc. Yeah. Super croc, and the, the jumping the out and probably taking large dinosaurs. Those yeah. reptiles, they grow and grow as they get older. Mm. Yeah. And it's quite likely if these fossils represented mm. those that had lived before the flood, yeah. things with a different climate did live a lot longer. Mm. Men lived a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So it was bigger. Mm. Mm -hmm. My own view is, for, for what it's worth, and some of your viewers might like to look up Job chapter 41 in the Bible about Leviathan. I think, I suspect that in Sarkasuchus we have a possible candidate for Leviathan. Um, and I know mm -hmm. I'm not alone in thinking that. It's uh, not just an ordinary crocodile, but maybe one of these mega crocs. Yeah, it was big, huge. Mm. Yeah. But what we do find is that whatever the earliest crocodile was, it's very much like the Absolutely living crocodile, like that's the point, isn't yeah, it? That that's uh, right. big, the body but forms very similar. Yeah. And yeah. we've yeah. seen in programs past that uh, before the flood, animals used to grow and plants used to grow mm. very large. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. One extraordinary find that was made just a few years ago was a type of crocodile, fossil crocodile, that was vegetarian. Oh, yes. had a very curious kind of box-shaped skull and it had um, peg-like teeth that were well, clearly designed. Needles almost, weren't they? Uh, they, they were, yeah, oh, right. I, I thought they were kind of peg-shaped teeth, but I'll, I'll, well, I'll, I'll, very I'll thin take your pegs. advice on that. But they were, they, they were designed for, for basically eating plants. Mm. And this is really interesting because, obviously, from a creationist perspective, we know from Genesis chapter 1, verses 29 and 30, that the original diet of all the animals was vegetarian. That's right. You look at an animal like a crocodile and you think, you can't imagine what a crocodile could have been doing before the fall, before um, mm -hmm. carnivory, you know, meat-eating came about. And yet there is a clue in the fossil record that even yeah. crocodiles were once <coughs> herbivorous. Mm. And there are some other uh, the theropods, aren't there? The, there's at least yeah. one theropod I know uh, in the 